Nancy Mace, Republican Congresswoman, is unveiling a bill. And it's not a bill designed to help her constituents make things better for Republican voters or whatever. No, it's more right wing identity politics. Because there's one trans lawmaker who's going to be coming to DC. And so Nancy Mace has an entire bill to ban transgender women from women's restrooms at the US Capitol. All of this is about Democratic Representative elect Sarah McBride, the first openly transgender member to be elected, will be sworn in in January. And Nancy Mace does not want one minute of equality. She wants to make sure that the law is changed before that. She said, and I'm going to read her quotes. Which are terrible. I don't agree with the terminology, but just bear in mind this is what Nancy May said. Sarah McBride doesn't get a say. I mean, this is a biological man, does not belong in women's spaces, women's bathrooms, locker rooms, changing rooms, period. Full stop. This is a biological man trying to force himself into women's spaces, and I'm not going to tolerate it. That is gross, but that's what she said. Sarah McBride. Uh, responded saying, every day Americans go to work with people who have life journeys different than their own and engage with them respectfully. I hope members of Congress can muster that same kindness. And this is just awful. Again, there's all sorts of problems in America that Nancy Mace could spend her time on. She is crafting legislation to discriminate against one person. But oh, it's the Democrats that are obsessed with identity politics. What do you think, Daria? Honestly, I think Sarah McBride's answer was perfect. It was classy and it hit the nail right on the head. It's unkind. And for the party who claims to be about Christian values, I myself am a Christian. This is unchristian like to target a person specifically who's coming there to help her constituents to do her job, to focus on a bathroom bill when you have inflation, you have people and kids in schools dying of school shootings. Focus on something that actually matters. I think Nancy Mace should honestly just be ashamed of herself. And I'm glad she tweeted it so that people can see what kind of person she really is. Yeah, I mean, I think Nancy Mace should have been ashamed of herself even before this, but she should be also ashamed of herself because of this. And uh, I want to add just one extra element to this that I think is absolutely perfect. Because uh, in the wake of this story coming out, some details about Nancy Mace's life have come out. And they are just perfectly ironic. And so Nancy Mace had an interesting past. She was actually one of the first women ever enrolled at the Citadel, one of the military academies. And when she was enrolled, there are her and I believe two other women, they changed their bathroom policy for her. Not only because now there's gonna be women there, they changed the policies. They paid $5,000 to retrofit one of the bathrooms for the use of women. And that's exactly what they should have done. I agree with that. She clearly agreed with it. She didn't have a problem with it when it was benefiting her. And I know that back then there were definitely men who were like, no, now we have to change this. I got to wear a robe because there are going to be women around. We don't get to use that bathroom anymore. It's possible if Fox News had been around back then, they would have done segments demonizing this. And she benefited from the fact that there was a respect for the benefit of diversity and bringing in new people. And they did the right thing then for Nancy Mace. And Nancy Mace walks through the bathroom door and then slams it shut behind her. Because that's as far as tolerance should go. Tolerance to benefit her, to allow her access, and no farther. Screw anyone else who needs consideration after that. It is disgusting, and I agree she should be ashamed. Any quick final point? You know, this is just another example of the cognitive dissonance that the Republicans live with every day. It's the same thing we see with affirmative action, where we see legacies and white women are the main benefits beneficiaries of affirmative action, but yet they want to target like the 10% of black people who are at schools. It's the same thing that we're seeing here. They're closing the door shut, it's hypocritical, and it's stereotypical. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.